Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. NASA's involvement in aircraft crash testing traces back to the early 1940s. When the agency's Langley Research Center began conducting studies on crashworthiness and fire suppression. In 1967, NASA established the Landing and Impact Research Facility at Langley Research Center. This facility, unique in its ability to crash test full-scale aircraft under free flight conditions, has been instrumental in advancing aircraft safety. LIRF continues to be a valuable asset in this effort, providing a controlled environment to study the effects of crashes on aircraft structures, occupants, and onboard equipment. The data generated from these tests informs the development of new safety standards, design guidelines, and occupant protection systems. NASA's ongoing work in aircraft crash testing is a testament to the agency's dedication to ensuring air travel safety and protecting the lives of passengers and crew. NASA's Langley Research Center meticulously selected a retired Fokker F-28 Fellowship aircraft, which was deemed suitable for the crash test due to its design and dimensions. The team then modified the aircraft's fuselage to accommodate 24 crash test dummies representing various sizes and positions of passengers. You need to pull them up, to rotate them, pull them up, turn them 90, and then you can rotate up and right, down. Make sure that's With the engines humming, the crane released the Fokker F-28, sending it plummeting toward the impact surface at a speed of approximately 120 miles per hour. The airframe deformation analysis involved utilizing the speckle pattern and DIC technology to reconstruct the airframe shape and movement throughout the impact. The collected data would provide valuable insights into potential injury mechanisms and areas where structural or safety system modifications could enhance occupant protection. NASA's decision to drop a Cessna 172 at the Landing and Impact Research Center was to test the performance of four emergency locator transmitters, which were installed on board the aircraft. By conducting this controlled crash test, NASA aimed to gather valuable insights into the effectiveness of ELTs in extreme impact scenarios, particularly in light of studies indicating that they don't always operate correctly. The findings will inform the development of more robust and reliable ELT designs, which can withstand the rigors of a crash and transmit a signal effectively. The 747-8 undergoes a comprehensive series of ground tests to evaluate its structural integrity, handling qualities, and performance in various configurations.
These tests, spanning various environments and conditions, simulate the extreme stresses and operational demands the aircraft will encounter during its lifespan. To ensure that the aircraft can safely take off at this weight, Boeing conducted a series of tests, including a million-pound takeoff test. In this test, the 747-8 was loaded to its maximum takeoff weight and accelerated to the required speed for takeoff. The pilots then applied full thrust, successfully lifting the aircraft off the runway. The million pound takeoff test is a critical part of the certification process for new aircraft. It ensures that the aircraft can safely operate at its maximum weight, even in demanding conditions. Rejected takeoff tests are crucial components of aircraft certification, ensuring that airplanes can safely abort a takeoff maneuver if necessary. These are conducted on paved runways with a specified surface condition to assess the brake's performance accurately. The aircraft is loaded to its maximum takeoff weight and the engines are powered up. Once the aircraft reaches the designated RTO test speed, typically around 100 knots, the pilots apply full brakes and the aircraft's deceleration and stopping distance are carefully monitored. During RTO tests, engineers closely examine the temperature and performance of the aircraft's brakes. The brakes are equipped with sensors that measure their temperature, pressure, and wear. This data is continuously collected and analyzed to ensure that the brakes can dissipate heat effectively and maintain braking performance throughout the RTO maneuver. Airbus crosswind testing involves simulating various crosswind conditions during flight and landing maneuvers. The aircraft is subjected to crosswinds of varying intensities and angles, ranging from moderate to extreme conditions. These tests are conducted in controlled environments, such as wind tunnels or specially prepared runways, to accurately assess the aircraft's handling and performance in crosswind situations. When landing in strong crosswinds, pilots often employ a technique called the crab approach. This involves intentionally aligning the aircraft's nose with the direction of the crosswind, creating a sideways drift. This maneuver counteracts the crosswind's effect on the aircraft's path, allowing it to align with the runway center line at touchdown. To minimize the crab approach and improve visibility, pilots generally aim to reduce the crosswind to a manageable level before landing. They may also use other techniques, such as using crosswind runways or employing ground spoilers to counteract the crosswind. The A350 XWB cold weather evaluations performed at Iqaluit, Canada were crucial in ensuring the aircraft's ability to operate safely and efficiently in extreme Arctic conditions. This area was chosen as the ideal location for the cold weather evaluations due to its extreme climate.
with temperatures regularly dropping below minus 18 degrees Fahrenheit. These evaluations involved a series of tests and simulations that subjected the aircraft to the harsh realities of cold climates. The aircraft's ice protection systems, including de-icing boots, anti-ice fluid spraying mechanisms, and heated components were evaluated to ensure they could effectively combat ice buildup on critical surfaces, such as wings, engines, and control surfaces. The compatibility of the aircraft's fluids and lubricants with low temperatures was rigorously tested to ensure they could operate smoothly and prevent freezing or viscosity changes. Maximum energy braking tests are crucial components of aircraft certification, ensuring that airplanes can safely stop within a specified distance, even under extreme conditions. These demanding tests place an immense strain on the brakes, demanding their ability to dissipate heat effectively and maintain stopping power. Once the aircraft reaches the designated MEB test speed, typically around 130 knots, the pilots apply full brakes, and the aircraft's deceleration and stopping distance are carefully monitored. In addition to monitoring temperature and performance, engineers also inspect the brakes for signs of degradation or damage. This includes checking for cracks, warping, or other structural defects. Any abnormalities are thoroughly investigated to identify potential causes and implement corrective measures. In the event of an aircraft emergency, either during tests or real operations, crash trucks and tenders play a critical role in responding to the situation and minimizing the risk of harm to passengers, crew, and the environment. These specialized vehicles are equipped with a variety of tools and equipment to effectively address various emergency scenarios. including fire suppression, rescue operations, and hazardous materials response. Crash trucks and tenders are typically stationed at airports and other airfields to provide rapid response to aircraft emergencies, carrying a variety of extinguishing agents such as water, foam, and dry chemicals to combat aircraft fires effectively. A multitude of aircraft testing methods allow engineers to thoroughly assess the aircraft's performance, identify potential hazards, and refine designs to enhance passenger safety. Additionally, the presence of crash trucks and tenders at airports demonstrates the commitment to emergency preparedness. Minimizing the risk of harm to passengers, crew, and the environment. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.